Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carace.net, and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Keyboard Pro keyboard for the Android operating system. In front of you, you see a Verizon Samsung Fascinate running Android 2.1. And let's jump into it. Again, with all these videos, in the first couple minutes, we're going to go over the basic features of the keyboard, and then in the last part of the video, we're going to go over the settings, more advanced features, and how to tailor it to your own writing style. Um, check out Carious.net for the full review of all 12 keyboards, and if you want to see more of those YouTube videos, all of them are going to be in that article on Carious.net, or you can check out our YouTube channel, Carious.net. So with that, let's jump in. When you install Keyboard Pro for the first time, you're going to want to activate it on the phone. So go to your settings, go down to your language and keyboard, and just make sure that green check mark is next to start Smart Keyboard Pro. Excuse me. So let's go back and go into our messaging program. To change the Smart Keyboard Pro for the first time, long press on your input box, um, scroll through what available keyboards you have installed, and click on the Smart Keyboard Pro. Um, Smart Keyboard Pro is a really great keyboard, um, really basic, has a lot of nice kind of custom macros that I'll get into later, supports swipe gestures, speech to text. Um, dynamic key resizing, different languages, uh, you can disable the full screen keyboard mode in landscape which is also a really nice feature so for example most keyboards do this when you go into landscape so you actually can't see any of the message thread or what you're typing in or anything like that so I'll show you how to disable that in the future or in later on in this video. So let's jump into it at first let's kind of go over the different features of the keyboard so as always um, you press the shift twice to engage caps locks and you can see that by the green um, light in the top left of that. Click it again and you get back to your regular ones, to your regular lowercase letters, excuse me, on your QWERTY keyboard. Uh, pressing numbers gets you to your number screen. Um, pressing alt obviously gets you to alternative ones. Going back to ABC, as you can see if you hold down the E, you can get a 3. Hold down the 4, blah blah blah, hold down F, you get AND. Um, so really easy, really nice to get to those numbers and really fast to get those punctuation marks in. Let's type in our first, our coin sentence of these videos, dinner and a movie tonight. So again, has predictive text on the bottom. As soon as you see your word highlighted, you can do a space. I believe this also supports the punctuation ones. Yep, so it'll complete the word if you hit the period as well. But let's go back, let's do dinner and... A movie tonight. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so tonight you can long press M, do your question mark, completes tonight, and inserts that question mark. So, really easy to use, uh, really intuitive interface. Let's do the speech to text right now. I apologize if my Wi Fi uh, won't let it have a good showing, but let's see what happens. Dinner and a movie tonight? Question mark? <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of gives you a different selection of what you said. Um, gives you a variation. Maybe you meant to say today instead of tonight, or maybe last minute <clears throat> you thought that um, you wanted to change that. So again, pretty nice selection for your speech to text. Click on the one you want, it puts it in, and that setting of having the keyboard pop up again, we can change later. So also, you, as you can see, um, when we went to select it, it was all in lowercase, but when you inserted it as a new sentence, it capitalized the D in dinner. So, great feature of the keyboard. Let's get into some of the swiping gestures. Um, I believe these will be set up when you first start it, but just in case, I'll show you how to do that later if you want. Swiping to the left, excuse me, gets you your number pad. I did that poorly. Um, and then swiping to the left again will get you back to your letter. Swiping to the right, will, or sorry, I always get that confused, sorry. Swiping to the right will get you to your numbers. So, swipe to the right, swipe to the right again to get back to your QWERTY. Swiping to the left gets you to your alternative keyboard, QWERTY style, kind of like a Blackberry. Um, you can engage XT9, which will predict words, otherwise you can turn it off, and you can just do regular typing. Swiping again to the left, come on, gets you to your um, regular keyboard style pad uh, you find on most clamshell phones or most older model of phones so again gives you a very nice variation you can turn T9 on or off for this keyboard and swiping to the left one more time gets you back to your regular QWERTY style so that ends the basic features of the smart keyboard pro now we're going to jump into the advanced settings so 
If this was enough for you, go to our site and we'll have the QR code to download it really fast. You can see our recommendation there. Otherwise, stick around and we'll get into the advanced features right now. So go to your settings. You are just going to go home. Um, you'll get to your settings a little bit different, but go into your language and keyboard. Go down to your Smart Keyboard Pro, click the settings. And this has a really nice interface. Unlike other keyboards, it kind of displays all the options on one page. This is going to give them to you in categories. So you're not seeing so much information and being overloaded. Um, so let's jump into those right now. Under the help, you can get an about or you can go to your help where it gives you tips and tricks for Smart Keyboard Pro. Going to your general settings, you can do the language. Um, you can do the language selection key. So we'll show off this. Let's, uh, let's do Greek. Let's try that out. So we, we've, in, we've done Greek on that. Um, excuse me. Uh, you can also select the keyboard skin, so you can do different colors, different styles. Also another great feature of this guy. Um, transparency, so if you want the keys to be more glass-like. You can enable the arrow keypad, so when you go into your 1, 2, 3, uh, your symbol keyboard, you'll be able to see on up, down, left, and right arrows. Also convenient if you're navigating websites or navigating forms. Um, long press duration. So you can set how long you have to press to get to those numbers above your letters. Uh, again, portrait roads, smiley key, you can show that instead of the enter key. Um, you can also in your settings, which I'll show you later, enable your enter key to automatically send a message rather than you actually having to push send. Also kind of a nice convenient shortcut, although it's not, I mean, you can still press send on the screen, so it's not too crazy, but again, nice thing to add on the side. Uh, voice input, again, just settings on those. Um, sorry, I'll keep it closer here so you guys can see. Um, sound and vibrate. Again, this is just going to, every time you push a key, either make a sound or vibrate if you so choose. Some people like the clicking, like on the iPhone. Text prediction, text prediction excuse me. Um, again, pretty standard features, you know, auto capitalization, quick fixes, space after picking, you know, has it search your contacts dictionary, have it have a smart dictionary, learn new words. Um, Always that kind of stuff. You can also, which is nice about Smart Keyboard and is Smart Keyboard Pro, excuse me, and is available on a couple other keyboards, is the suggest on hardware keys. So if you have a slide out keyboard and you're typing, it can also um, give you prediction, word prediction on the screen and you can then click to that word as you're typing on your hardware QWERTY keyboard. So that's always nice. Um, you can also suggest punctuation. Um, again, nice settings for that. So getting into our gestures, you can set swiping to the left again to get to the compact T9. You can set it to any one of these things. So backspace, user dictionary, delete word. Um, and again, you can set it for left, right, up and down swipe gestures. Uh, advanced settings, excuse me, you can show the touch points like on the better keyboard. So you can have an idea of where you're touching and maybe why it's putting an E instead of an R sometimes. You can also, Go to a Latin layout. You can reverse words in the prediction bar for, and it gives you examples for instances like Arabic or Hebrew. Um, again, and this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can do enter and that sends the message. So let's go back, let's disable our touch points and then let's go back. Oh, and you can also do your color candidate so you can choose kind of which what it highlights it in. Let's choose this gold for right now. We'll see that in action and what else? Oh yeah, show touch points. Okay, so let's go back into our keyboard messaging. So as you can see, it shows you all those little colored dots are where you are touching, so you get an idea of what you're doing. Also, if we go back into this, you'll see that as we type, it is now in the gold, so that's really nice, you know, customize your keyboard the way you like it. And now you'll also see once we added that Greek, that a language button appeared down here, so if we click that, it goes into your Greek alphabet. So that is the Smart Keyboard Pro, a great keyboard. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot about the custom auto text macro. So let's go back into our English. Come on. Let's see, how do we get back out of this? Let's go. Here, let's see if we can exit out. Oh, sorry guys, one second. Let's just change it real quick. Maybe that'll reset it. Sorry, I'll put in the uh, I'll put in the video how to change that with a uh, bubble. So 
Oh, still that, huh? Okay, so let's go into our settings real fast. I want to show you one more macro thing. So, sorry, let's just take a second. Then using keyboard. So our keyboard pro, go into our general settings, language selection key, select available languages. Let's just get out of that for now. English. Done. Done. Oh, I think because I didn't. Here, let me check one thing. I think you have to select if you're going to do Greek and English, and I did not have that checked before. So let's just make sure of that. I think that'll work. Let's go back to our messaging. There we go. Okay, so you have to select each one. That was my mistake. Again, when you go to your Greek, since uh, Greek is not supported on voice, you'll see that microphone disappear and a comma appear instead. So going to this now, um, on the website I read about the custom auto text macros. For instance, you can do percent and then T. Oh, maybe you have to set it up in the settings. Okay, so I'll also put a bubble about how to do that in the YouTube video. But uh, that is the Smart Keyboard Pro for the Android operating system. If you have any questions, sound off in the comments. Otherwise, go to our article to see it and about 11 other articles featured in our keyboard face-off. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and make sure to check out our YouTube channel, carries.net.